So I just spent a lot of money on a gym membership, about $150, and you know, I haven't lost a pound, but apparently you have to go to the gym to work out and lose weight. Well, why haven't you been going? I've just been under a lot of stress from, you know, school, um, finals are coming up, I have my ACT to prep for, and you know, it just doesn't fit in. Yeah, I can relate. I've been so busy, and finding time to work out and make healthy meals is so hard. And I just don't have the motivation, you know, once I get home from a stressful day at school, I just want to go chill out in my bed after I finish my homework and just watch TV or go to sleep. Yeah. Oh, hello. How's it going? Okay, so our project is Vita Sana. Roughly 3% of Americans live a healthy lifestyle, and of the 97% that don't, 43% want to or are trying to live a healthy lifestyle. Two in five Americans want a better health, but don't know how to achieve this. They say that there's too much out there and they don't know where to begin, and a lot of times this results in a loss of motivation. So before we really get started into our um, presentation, we have a couple of questions to ask you guys. Okay, we're going to need you guys to participate, so raise your hands if you think that being healthy is all about working out, only about working out. Okay, and how many of you don't work out because you just feel like you don't have enough time? Alright, <laughs> okay. Now, how many of you just don't have the motivation to work out? Okay, now how many of you at least have a healthy meal once a day? Okay, so our project was based on uh, motivation and trying to get people motivated and to feel like they have enough time to go and actually work out and do their process. So with this, um, we made Vita Sana, which translates to healthy living. The reason why we couldn't actually use healthy living as our title was because um, healthy Living was taken um, and we did our project based off of websites and Instagram accounts and so those tags were taken a lot and so I decided hey why not Italian so that's how that tag was made um, our website was vitasana.weebly.com and our Instagram was vitasana with two A's at the end now our Instagram was trying to focus a lot on putting in motivation getting people to follow our account and having them go check out our website because they wanted to have the motivation to actually go and work out. And our website was a way for them to be able to map through their ways and be able to work out, have the workout videos and stuff like that. So, unfortunately, our Instagram was not very successful. We couldn't get that many people to follow us, but our website was actually really successful. Over the past six months, we had about 700 people look at and use our website. So this right here is the homepage of our website, and at the top you can see the six different tabs that we created and we added information to. We have our homepage, which is the one you're looking at right now, and we have the recipes tab, the workouts tab, the challenges tab, the interesting facts tab, and the about page. So at the bottom of our um, homepage, we actually included some surveys to kind of get a feel of where people were at. Um, we first included a survey about our website, just trying to see if we could improve our website, um, wanting to get other people's input on what they wanted to see. Um, and so we asked some various questions, like have you used our website and like which tabs. Um, and then we asked how your fitness schedule was, because we wanted to actually know like if people were using our website for the fitness process of it. So we asked how often you worked out and if you actually are healthy. So within that, we ranged from people being um, motivated to work out to people not being really motivated to work out. And then we also ranged from people being really active and working out to people not active at all. So then well, um, we got the newsletter page. Um, we sent out, we just made it like two months ago. So we um, were able to kind of only send out two. One was about a thank you for following our newsletter, and then um, the other one was just to get in questions and see how they were feeling also about that. Um, also underneath the surveys, we had a place where they could leave comments and questions or other feedback that they had, and uh, right there is our information to sign up for the remind. Now, we've received about 20 to 30 response, like feedbacks under our comment section. A lot of them were positive, and while we did receive silly comments, we did receive good ones about how our website was pretty cool and had some nice, like interesting information that came to use. And 
we recently set up our mind as a way to be more in contact with people who looked at our website because we wanted a way to better motivate them and just send out stuff straight to them. So we have about 30 people signed up because we just made it recently and we send about three to four weekly that are interesting facts, motivational quotes, and just think, like updates to tell them that we've added new stuff to our website. So then we have the recipes page. We ranged from breakfast to lunch, dinner, drinks, um, desserts, and protein shakes. We had some nice cute little quotes at the top that they could just get motivation off of. And then we ranged from having 10 to 5 different recipes for each tab. Um, and that was really a way for people to just be able to go click on it and they were able to open up a page and have the full recipe right in front of them that they could make right then and there. Next we had our workouts page. So we had stuff from like chest um, and butt, abs, back and legs. And we had about four workouts for each of those. It was easy for people to just go click on them and open it to another page. And it'd be a YouTube video that you could do at home so you didn't have to go to the gym to work out. You could just do these at home. And then we had our challenges page. These were, all of them were um, mainly about a month long. Our first one was really about um, pulling out stuff in your diet to see what was affecting you um, and see if you could change that and eat better with that. And then we had different like just arm challenges and butt challenges and um, plank challenges that you could go and do. Uh, the next tab was interesting facts. And here we just put in a bunch of different interesting facts that people who looked at our website can go and check out if they were interested in learning things about just exercising and eating healthy or just everyday things that you could that relate to living a healthy lifestyle. And the last page, which we did not include in our PowerPoint, was the about page. And that was because it was just about a paragraph that was our overall goal and purpose for making this project and why we did this, which was to promote healthy living and help motivate people who want to obtain this. So overall, we had um, some success on our website and um, a little bit in our Instagram account, which we were really happy about. Um, we will continue to add more and send out more reminds to our followers, but so thank you.